Right, everybody, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, my name is Guy Earnshaw and I'm part of the team here at Blue Hub. And today we are joined by Max Piltover from uh, Deer Systems as well. So anyone that joined the last session of the webinar with the apps, you know that this is a time where we really dive into each of the products deeply and start to understand which of our clients are going to be suited today, which ones maybe not so much. And then we'll look at a few of the key features where Deer is really suitable and also what they've coming up next. So throughout this webinar, I'm going to act as your mouthpiece. So there is a box <coughs> within the GoToWebinar interface where you can ask us your questions. I can see that Jodie's already found it and has told me that she's currently having a fire drill um, and will be back as soon as she can. So just to let me know that not just only Jodie can find the questions box, can everyone can just head over to that question box and give us a quick hello, how are you doing? And just get those fingers warmed up. Ah, oh, perfect, they're flying in. Good morning, everyone. Great to have you on board. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Hillary, everyone else. Great stuff. Perfect. So everyone, I'd love to introduce you to Max from Deer, and he's going to take you through this presentation. So yeah, Max, how are you this morning? You okay? Yeah, good. Thanks. And hello, everyone. And a uh, special thanks to Guy and the team at Blue Hub for having me here today to present to you about a great solution. So I'll get started by going over a bit about our company profile. So the common question we get asked is, what does D actually stand for? Uh, this is an acronym for double entry accounting records, and our story began in 2012. Um, accounting is essentially at the core of everything we do in inventory management, and back in 2012, we launched just as an advanced inventory management application for uh, Zero and QuickBooks Online, uh, gearing towards wholesale distribution and helping the SMB customers to move to the cloud from their out of date, out, outdated legacy accounting softwares. So over the last four years, uh, through research and rapid development, we have actually introduced features like point of sale, um, B2B portal to expand our service offering, which now allows us to better service uh, retail, e-commerce and light manufacturing businesses. And today, uh, we have thousands of happy customers in over 70 countries globally, and we're constantly growing. So our main markets are actually Australia, uh, United States, UK, New Zealand and South Africa, and we have offices in Australia, UAE, Hong Kong, and the Philippines. So I myself is, uh, is based out of the uh, sunny Dubai, so I look after the whole of the EMEA region from here. So that's a quick overview of the profile. So we're jumping into, you know, what do we actually offer? So our ultimate goal is to actually build a powerful product for SMBs to enable them to scale and compete on a global stage. So potentially against larger companies as well. So DEER currently supports around 20 integrations out of the box across accounting, point of sale, e-commerce and shipping applications to bring users an end-to-end -end business management platform. So taking a look at some of the features, uh, DEER offers a complete backend management solution for managing your purchases, sales, manufacturing of finished goods and management of e-commerce orders through in-depth integrations with marketing leading e-commerce platforms. So we have also recently, as I mentioned before, added our own native POS module and B2B portal, uh, which have seen, we have seen a great adoption for by existing customer base and as well as increased interest from potential new users. And last but not least, we also offer an advanced reporting module. Uh, so I know uh, your accountants love your reporting. And we have over 50 different types of reports to help you analyze and compare trading data across all the various sale channels. So um, instead of just me talking the whole time, I thought I'd throw in this uh, cool diagram uh, to help you understand the workflow of D and how it'll help manage backend operations for businesses. So this is typically, uh, this workflow typically describes the workflows of an omni-channel retailer this day and age. So you might be selling uh, through our B2B portal, uh, retail outlet. Uh, you might also have a store on Shopify and Amazon, and it is also very likely taking orders over the phone and email. So managing sales from all these different channels can be challenging if you don't have a backend management system in place. So when sales come in, they will update inventory across all the various sale channels, so you don't lose the risk of overselling um, items on a particular channel. 
So you'll then need to fulfill the order to your customer using pick back and ship functionality built in within our sales module. And then sales and COGS information will seamlessly sync into your accounting application with every completed order. So you need to know what you have in stock and how fast you're selling items so you can either manufacture more pro products or place accurate purchase orders with your supplier. <clears throat> and then once your supplier bills you, this uh, info is then seamlessly synced into your accounting application. That's so great. Yeah, Sorry, Mark. Skipped, yeah, Would just you be able to the, go yeah, back on that. Back yeah, up. That'd be great, yeah. So I think this is a really useful slide just while you're pulling that back up for everyone yeah. in the audience because it shows how systems like Deer start to stem beyond just the finances of the business and are heavily involved in not just the sales channels that we can see but in actual operations and supply chain of the company too. So we're able to see guys all these different elements that Deer covers. So I mean what how many businesses do you have that sell on more than one uh, sales channel? Is that the majority? Yeah, look, it's majority of the business that have more than one channel. You know, it's very common that it might be like a, a retailer who now wants to go into the e-commerce space and then they, you know, launch a Shopify store. So now they're selling, you know, and have a brick and mortar place and they also have a e-commerce aspect to their business. So it's very common. So probably every uh, one in two businesses have uh, more than one sale channel these days. Yeah, I think the majority of our clients um, do have at least two sales channels, even if it's just a Shopify website and then the occasional order by phone. There's definitely multiple ways that sales are, are received. Exactly. So I love this diagram because actually, you know, there's so many apps out there. So I think there's over 700 apps um, in the app store these days. And just to understand how, you know, these apps work with D and then how D then, you know, passes that information into your accounting application, I think is very important because it can get very confusing very quickly these days. Yeah. So I know that's something that everyone's eyes will be drawn to at the moment is the final integration there with Zero and QuickBooks Online. So one, it's great to see that you integrate with both products. Um, and obviously it shows the sales orders and the supplier data, I mean, the purchase invoices going in. Does Deer exactly. also send journals through to the accounting systems? Uh, so if you're integrating with an accounting application, you actually have to do all the manual journal entries in uh, your accounting app, but we do send the cost of goods sold journal entries when um, items are sold as manual journals. So that's the manual journals we send over into the accounting application. And that's the main journal that most product sellers are working with, right? So Yeah, that's exactly. Thing. So when you're buying inventory, obviously we'll create journals for the purchased inventory. And then also when you're selling, we'll create COGS transactions, which get posted as um, manual journals into zero or QuickBooks, depending on Great. which one you're using. But um, in terms of, you know, manual journal adjustments, um, so if you wanted to directly journal to a general ledger, uh, you will need to do that in zero or QuickBooks. Perfect. So a couple of questions that just popped up uh, around this that have come through is, does Deer integrate with Amazon and keep control of the mess their system makes? So Deer does integrate <laughs> with Amazon. Um, but yes. How do you get around some of those confusing fee structures? Uh, we actually just improved our Amazon integration, so it's still in QA at this stage. So we will be importing all the fees, so the FBA fees and any other Amazon fees into Deer. Um, unfortunately, I'm not able to tell you exactly how it currently works because it's still in QA, but that's probably going to yeah. be released to our customer base within the next week or two. Yeah. So I'll yeah. definitely, if you get me the details of all these questions, um, I'll be able to get back to um, that person. With Great. More info. So Robin, Max will be in touch following this. Cool. So. Is there anything else, Guy, in regards to this diagram or? Yeah, just just one more question that I think it kind of shows here, but we can see that Deer produces sales orders. Um, someone just asked, does it also produce the invoices too? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. generally, if you're going to be using Deer um, as your inventory management application, you're going to be doing all your accounts payable, accounts receivables through Deer. So the purchasing and the sales module, so we have the entire processes covered. So, you know, from for purchasing, for example, you raise a purchase order, you receive the stock into inventory, and then you, create, you receive a purchase invoice from your supplier, which you enter into Deer. Once the purchase invoice is authorized, it syncs over into Zero QuickBooks Online. Um, same goes for the sale process. We have sale quote, sale order, pick, pack and ship, and then the final invoice. So quick thing to remember is that all your accounts payable, accounts receivables will be managed in Deer. 
That's perfect. And I think that highlights something that I always like to mention to clients is that while DEER is called an inventory system or all these apps are called inventory systems, they're really inventory and order processing systems. And it goes all the way from quote through to invoice and including all the warehouse activities within that too. So much more than just measuring the quantities on hand and value of stock, it's really helping the company manage that entire supply chain. Exactly. So as I mentioned at the beginning, we're very heavily focused on our accounting, um, very accounting orientated, very transactional system. So it's more than just order management. That's perfect. Thank you, Max. That slide's perfect. No worries, mate. Well, I'll move on to um, where we talk about a bit about our typical customer base. So although the user spectrum is fairly broad, but we can definitely see repeating business types. Um, so generally users will turn to D once there is existing system, whether it's a manual process, um, spreadsheet or legacy app no longer handles the existing operational complexities. So a typical customer would be an SMB with under 50 employees um, operating in either retail, wholesale, e-commerce uh, or like manufacturing industries. And it's very often that it's a com combination of at least two business models, as I mentioned earlier. So, you know, a retailer that might even manufacture their own goods. So the decision maker usually is the business owner themselves, um, accountant or operations manager. We mostly deal with businesses directly, directly. However, we do see a fair share of accountants and bookkeepers implementing the software on the behalf of their clients, um, especially if they're an internal accountant or bookkeeper in that company. So businesses are generally the biggest beneficiaries when it comes to adapting new software. Um, and improving the internal processes, but you know, accountants and bookkeepers also benefit um, as accounting data relating to inventory management is automatically flows into um, either Zero QuickBooks Online. So accountants no longer you know receive a bunch of invoices at the end of the month that they need to manually enter the system. So they said they can concentrate more on delivering advisory services to their clients rather than focusing on compliance work. So our platform also provides a perfect gateway for businesses entering e-commerce um, across se several sale channels. So as mentioned before, we integrate with all the popular marketplaces and e-commerce platforms such as Amazon, Etsy and Shopify, um, just to name a few. And also a majority of our uh, typical customers are also operating across multiple locations and have more complex warehouse management requirements. Um, these are typically already more established businesses requiring full order fulfillment functionality um, in say a mobile application for the warehouse staff to utilize during picking, packing and shipping. So obviously as much as we'd like to onboard every single customer that comes to us, there are businesses that are not ideal for us. So anybody that has, you know, made to order products. So uh, for a good example is somebody selling online um, and they have um, uh, WooCommerce, which can hold very complex kind of structured products where a customer can select what type of product um, they, they, they want and you know what color, um, what components should go into this product. Um, these are not suitable businesses for us. Um, yes, we have you know manufacturing module, um, but we work on a basis that you manufacture the products beforehand. Um, and then selling on these channels rather than, you know, being able to build a particular product from the e-commerce platform. So um, another one is uh, service only based businesses. So for example, if you um, repairing mobile phones, so somebody brings you in something and then you um, give it back to them. And uh, uh, another one is uh, uh, basically just service services only businesses. So without having any inventory at all. So they're the only kind of two um, uh, types of businesses that we wouldn't be ideal for. And um, just to build on that made to order point, I think that's true of all of the inventory systems that are around the same level as Deer. Anyone that's doing a repeated manufacturer process, the systems work great for. They can tell you from the component stock, what are we able to produce right now within this warehouse, which is fantastic. But for any businesses that are making unique products, they're always going to have a lot of manual labor updating the system and doing that. So what we see is a lot of businesses that are on the smaller end of bespoke manufacturing sort of under 1 million these people are best off really sticking to the spreadsheet side of things because the systems that they will need are, are you know very very expensive and require a lot much larger capital investment and um, so yeah people who do make bespoke products not necessarily the best candidates for an off-the-shelf solution exactly exactly so um unless you have any 
further questions, Guy, I'm going to move on to like a success yeah, story. I wanted to run past it. But we will get to them at the end, so just keep going no. for it. So this is a success story of a client that's been with us for about three years now. Um, they're called Urban Couture and in the home decor and fashion industry. They came to us with some requirements around manufacturing, um, they're selling e-commerce and had retail requirements as well. So before the implementation they were using Excel spreadsheets to manage a growing uh, inventory list which resulted in constant data entry errors. Um, the lack of real-time inventory tracking led to regular stockouts and they had no way of tracking back orders. Um, the lack of total cost of inventory calculation um, actually resulted in failure to improve the operations and increase their profit margins. So once we've uh, got them on board um, and taught them all the processes uh, within our system, they managed to increase their revenue by 43% as they could now prevent stockouts and understand true cost of their inventory. Um, they managed to reduce their stockouts by 80% as they now had up-to-date inventory quantities and reorder point management for all their products. Um, their quote to sale ratio increased by 20% um, as a result of payment links included on quote templates in Deer, which allowed their customers to pay as soon as they received the quote. Um, they also improved their order management by 50% in large thanks to our business to business portal, which we um, introduced recently which basically allows their customers to place orders 24-7 so they don't have to always have a sales representative available to take orders as these orders can be placed online through our portal. They also utilized our open API um, to connect to applications that we didn't have direct integrations for which further uh, streamlined their processes and they're also about to start using our pause so it's a common trend that we see our customers utilize our new modules developed by us so essentially their business grows with the platform um, I'm gonna shoot off to our roadmap now guys so unless we had any questions that you wanted me to answer um, before we go over to that I want to cover some of the things that we've um, completed and some of the cool things we have coming up yeah, that's fine. We'll get to all the questions at the end, Max. Cool, cool. No worries. So I already spoke, obviously, a lot about uh, POS and the business to business portal. They have been very successful um, additions. But one of the other things we actually released very recently, talking a couple of months ago, is the D warehouse management application. So your warehouse staff don't need access to the back end anymore as they can complete fulfillment using our mobile pick pack um, application which syncs automatically with the inventory so that's pretty cool now. Um, the notifications module, um, this is something that nobody has in the ecosystem um, so we're the only ones that have such functionality currently. Basically it offers a comprehensive solution to deliver updates for customers and internal staff on orders, inventory and sales. So you can easily now really improve your internal communication within Teams. So an example would be if an order is authorized, this can create an email or in-app notification to the warehouse team that order is ready for picking and packing. And then for example, once the warehouse team has picked, packed and shipped this order, um, an automatic notification can be created to the accounts department to commence payment collection. So, you know, we're moving more into that mid-tier um, uh, level to trying to support the bigger businesses and yeah, um, which require that um, you know uh, intercompany communication. Uh, so obviously we spent the last year developing these new modules. Um, we're actually going to try spend the next um, half year, uh, half a year to a year of actually making the uh, the inventory a lot smarter. Um, Introducing things like smart reordering, which is going to be basically inbuilt forecasting, which will be predicting which products you should be reordering based on previous selling trends. Um, we also want to introduce smart workflow automation. Uh, to give you an example, would be the ability to for customers to accept quotes via emails, which will then generate um, sale order work workflows once quotes are accepted. Um, and then, you know, obviously relevant departments will uh, receive certain notifications on um, what they should be doing um, once quotes are accepted. Uh, a big one as well that customers have been asking us for is uh, D to D integration. So if you have more than one entity that you're running on D mm -hmm. and they have intercompany transactions, so basically if you were to raise a purchase invoice to the other one, it will automatically come up as a sale invoice in the 
other entity. And also, uh, we're going to be working on an in-app messaging tool. So if you have your staff logged in into D at the same time, they'll be able to um, message each other through in um, uh, through a messaging app. So That's these great. are just some. Yeah, these are just some of the kind of cool things we have. Obviously, our roadmap's huge. If you have, um, if you forward this link, um, it's actually a publicly available development roadmap, what we have planned for the next um, couple of months up to a year. Uh, we have a very, um, you know, we always listen to what our users uh, ask us. We have a special forum for feature requests where you can see if you're, if we're planning to implement your suggestion, depending on how many hits it gets. So majority of the time, all our development is based on user requests. That's perfect. So just a few questions around these features. Um, what's the rough time frame on the smart reordering at this stage? Um, I think it's going to be available in uh, about three, four months time. So we're still doing research and development on it, but it's something that we've been talking about since the beginning of the year. Um, so we had some big projects that we finished off, such as the notifications uh, module and the uh, warehouse management app. So now we're kind of moving on to start making the system smart, smarter internally. Um, so it's probably going to be finished before the end of the year. Right, that's really good because I think the notifications and the forecasted reordering is something that's been previously reserved for, you know, the more enterprise level solutions. And I know a lot of businesses that are around that sort of one, two million turnover mark, they do have a requirement for some kind of smart forecasting uh, for reordering purposes. So that's going to be really, really useful to some of these middle ground clients that aren't quite ready for that big move up yet. Exactly. So what what's what this is opening up is, you know, a lot of the small businesses having enterprise level features at a very low cost. So, you know, that's what's been our goal for um, day one to offer our SMB customers enterprise level features. And things, features like the B2B portal, that's modular. You can choose whether you have that or not. So no one necessarily pays for it if they're not going to use it. Exactly. Yeah. So that was going to be my next slide um, if we're you know, if you have no further yeah, questions on this, is to uh, quickly discuss our pricing module. So it's very straightforward. We just have the one base package, uh, which is pay as you go, um, $199 per month. It includes five users, um, uh, all accounting integrations, and you can have two e-commerce integrations. Now, what's not included in this 199 is the business to business portal, uh, the point of sale solution and API access, and also our notifications module is an extra cost. So all those are $50 per month extra if you do need it. Um, as your business grows, as you scale and say you need more than five users, um, an additional user is $50 per month extra. So it's quite straightforward. Um, we're not the most expensive app and we're not the um, cheapest app in the marketplace, but I think if you're looking at from the terms of the service offering and all the features we have, we're probably uh, best priced in that sense. Yeah, definitely. And I think it's a nice, simple structure that's easy for advisors like us and the accountants on this to be able to explain to their client what their actual cost will be before they dive into too much research time. Exactly, exactly. And the beauty of this is, you know, you do get access to the uh, free trial, which is two weeks. We also, you know, extend it as a courtesy for further um, two weeks if required. So you get a month, one month to really test out the system to see if it's suitable for you before you even pay anything. That's not good. <clears throat> So the next one, um, I wanted to talk about a little bit about the benefits of actually moving from, you know, a desktop application to a cloud app. So security being the number one um, concern for customers like, hey, all my stuff is, you know, in the cloud. Is it secure? Um, the good thing is we the customer data is actually backed up on multiple servers, which are constantly protected with um, most advanced security technology. We personally use Microsoft data centers and they heavily invest into cloud security. And basically these days you are actually more at risk if you're not util utilizing the cloud as most of security research has been poured into cloud technology. Um, your data is, another one is that your data is actually always in real time. So you're not anymore you know, reconstructing what's already happened three, four months ago. Um, the data you're seeing in your customer's account is actually always up to date in real time. So actually, 
can make better advisory decisions for them and value add to um, uh, to to the advice you're giving them based on real time data. Um, another one that accountants love about um, cloud application is they're able to access them from anywhere. You know, you don't have to be on your work computer. You can actually be at home. You can be on your mobile, on your tablet, and be able to you know enter your client. Um, enter your clients accounts and have a look what's going on at any time. The big one as well is there's no updates required, uh, no maintenance, so no hidden costs. You pay as you go monthly and all software updates and support are inc included in subscription price. And <clears throat> the last one I think uh, which is most important is the MTD compliance and I think you're very well aware of it Guy. Yeah. So the making tax digital scheme that is slowly being phased in, which is going to change the way businesses are required to maintain their records. So MTD is the government's attempt to digitalize and bring the British businesses records keeping into the cloud. So old methods of record keeping on spreadsheets or desktop software is just not going to longer cut it. So what this means for accountants and bookkeepers is really an opportunity to streamline uh, the methods of data entry. So completely erase the manual form of record keeping and start working with real-time data rather than reconstructing historical entries. So as much as their clients might be reluctant to change from the legacy software, this might be the perfect way to start that conversation about moving to a more connected platform due to legislation requirements. So benefits don't only lie with the end user, but also with you as an accountant. So if your clients, you know, on a, if you move your clients to a cloud accounting software such as Zero QuickBooks Online, and D is connected to one of the two, your data entry will be all streamlined. So you no longer you will have to manually perform double entries in different systems. All sales that come into D, whether it's from your e-commerce channel or pause sales, so this will all flow through into your accounting application in real time. With this, all the filing of your VAT and tax returns becomes much quicker. So uh, this is all then ties back to what I briefly mentioned earlier about moving away from traditional compliance services such as bookkeeping, VAT return and tax return preparation and focusing more on advisory services which these days is more beneficial to small businesses. So as a, a software now aut automates a lot of the data entry compliance work, we see most advisors that succeed in the cloud space are so those ones who become virtual CFOs to their clients and explain to them what the financial financials actually mean to them. And they're also able to prepare more accurate growth strategies and better identify any potential health risks before it's actually too late. And yeah, that's about it, mate. Great. To be honest. Thanks so much, Max. So yeah, we've got a few questions to get through here. We might not get to all of them, so anyone that we do miss, we will follow up afterwards. Um, but yeah, I think just to build on your point around the, the advisory services, I think that's where the real-time data really comes in and has a massive effect when you start to build in the reporting modules into Xero as well. So if anyone's using the likes of Futurely and Spotlight, by having data tied in, it makes sure that all the data into Xero is correct, coded to all the right areas areas enable for you to report on instantly so as the sales data is moving in live that's going to update your dashboards on futurely as it updates zero so it's a way of really building that offering that you're giving your advisory clients exactly exactly right great so we're going to go through a few of the questions again if we don't get to your questions sorry but we will uh, do our best to answer everyone now so we have a client who sells fruit and veg to hotels and restaurants these are often sold by weight rather than quantity is there any integrated scales or similar managed quantities in weight uh, currently no mate unfortunately we don't yeah. have any integrated scales at this stage but it's something we will look at doing at least at pause level to begin with um, but at the moment there's no real um, uh, uh, deadline for when this would be available yeah, so while there's no integration with scales, a feature that you can use in data that could be quite useful is you're able to define what your unit of measure is. And um, so whether that's an individual item or if it's a kilo, kilo of a certain product or if it's 100 grams of a certain product, and you can select what those units of measure are. So while they would have to manually update what the scale read, you can certainly mm -hmm. track uh, quantities in weight rather than just uh, units available. So that was Absolutely. From, uh, Adam, thank you very much for that question. So next question, can you buy and sell in different quantities, e.g. I buy a case of 100 and then I sell them as individual units? 
Yeah, absolutely. So you can have, you know, you can set up two products in Deer. So one that you buy in one unit, and then when you buy it into Deer, um, you can set it up to auto disassemble into another unit. So it basically will just convert the uh, units for you automatically. So if you're buying a case of 12 um, Coca-Cola cans, when it's received into inventory, it'll be broken down into 12 individual cans. That's perfect. And it also works if you were to sell in different quantities as well. So you can sell as an exactly. individual, a carton of six and then a pallet of X. Um, and exactly. Deer manages all that automatically as well. So exactly. Hillary, thank you very much for that one. Right, so we've got a couple of questions from Wayne here. Does the system support stock aging and how easy is it to translate this into discounted sales on products that aren't selling? We have stock aging report in our report reporting module, so you can easily, you know, see how long um, stock has been in lying in your inventory for. Um, there's no direct conversion of that, um, you know, for the for discounting and whatnot, but you are able to see what stock has been and how long uh, through aging reports that we have. There's also a really nice report on the dashboard, Wayne. If you want to see this, uh, you can arrange a demo with us and I'll show it you where you can find out what your slowest moving products are from the dashboard. And then you're also able to search which customers have bought certain products so that then you know who's likely to potentially buy that product from you. So you can go and proposition them with a potentially a deal for some of that slower moving stock. So a slightly manual process, but the information is fully available. And, and that, that's what I spoke about earlier as well, Guy. This is... Uh, this is something we're looking at in heavily is you know building more of that forecasting um, of those forecasting tools within D in the next uh, six months um, to really have more information of what you should be buying what you should be um, uh, buying more of um, to make it you know your next purchasing decisions uh, a lot quicker and easier yeah and I think that goes on to answer Wayne's second question where he's essentially asking if um, you'd be able to customize these reports to factor in seasonal changes and dynamic changes in sales and I think that would go back to the smart forecasting that's, that's exactly exactly so this is the stuff we're looking at doing and implementing yeah perfect we've got uh, time for just a couple more questions so hopefully I can try and squeeze in three here uh, three here sorry uh, so we're looking here from Jenny do the monies received match automatically I have a client that uses inventory software who doesn't match the monies very well and it's difficult for me to match up so is there a way that Shopify can inform Deer of whether a, a transaction has been paid well we download the whatever the payment that's applied in Shopify that exact amount is going to be applied in the invoice in Deer. So we download the payment information from Shopify and that That's goes fair. over, that payment information is flowing through into um, Zero QuickBooks Online. So there you go, Jenny. That's how that would work. Um, and then two more questions. So you said that accountant, uh, sorry, accounts payable and accounts receivable are manageable in Deer. Would this mean you can also apply payments? Exactly. So we have a two-way sync for payments. So if you were to apply a payment in Deer, that payment's going to flow through into zero. And if you didn't apply a payment in Deer and you applied um, a payment while doing bank reconciliation in zero, QuickBooks Online, that payment's going to flow through into Deer and offset the relevant invoice. So it's a two-way payment sync. Perfect. And then uh, a couple of quick five questions. Are we able to map different products to separate areas of the chart of accounts so we manage two separate inventory assets for two different products? Absolutely. So that's done at product level. You can map um, any product to any inventory control count. Same as it goes for COGS and sales. So if you want your COGS and sales going to, um, uh, if you want your product going to a particular sales or COGS account when it's uh, sold, then you can map it at product level as well. That's great. And that's a really strong feature. You can also do it for customers as well. So if your client does have a, a customer that's given them, say, 80% of their trade, you can also map those sales to a separate nominal within the exactly. system too. Um, good. So I'm just trying to pick out one more. There are many questions coming through, Max. I might have to share these with you and you can answer them after yeah, as well. Yeah, for sure. I'm happy for you to uh, email everything over to me and I'll um, have a look at it. No issue. Fantastic. So, um, just trying to pick one more. Yeah, is there a way of uploading documents such as PDFs, JPEGs, tax invoices in Deer? Absolutely. Yep. So we have an attachment section um, in the purchasing module, in the sales module, in the manufacturing module. So you can attach any documentation um, in the attachment section, and we actually sync attachments now into accounting applications. 
that's ideal. Max, thank you very much for your time today. If anyone wants to get in touch with you, what's the uh, best way for them to contact you? Um, I will I will pull out my details at the top here. So I have my, um, my email address at the top here and my Skype as well. So they can reach me by either of those two channels. Fantastic. And we can uh, share that out with everyone who's attended the webinar yeah. as well so that they're able to contact you. So, yeah, thank you, Max, for your time and joining no us worries, today. Guy. And thank you thank for you having everyone me. that's come along to the, the presentation. It's been a really good one. Thank you for all your questions. Yeah. So, we don't have time to answer all of them. Um, but, yeah, if you do have any clients that you want to arrange a demo of DA4, you can do that by heading to either bluehub.co.uk and arranging an initial consultation or head straight over to DA and Max or one of the team there will be able to give you a demo. So thank you everyone, wishing you a great day. Enjoy awesome. the weather if it's sunny by you and take care. Thank you very much, Guy. Bye-bye. Thank you, Max.